Da-da! So, Bokir Tov again, and it is Sunday morning, November 15th. I can't believe it, but we are here together live, some of us in our Zoom tefillah room this morning, and we just sang an awesome Hine Matov. We'll do it next time for next week's recording, but... We are here all together, and I can think of so many things to be grateful for this morning. Oh, what, what are you grateful for? Yeah, shout it out. What are you grateful for? What are all the things? My friends, my food, my health, my family. I see some of your smiles. I'm grateful for your smiles. And oh, I see some sisters, grateful for si sisters, siblings, brothers, pets, all of those amazing things. Oh, oh, yes. Sophia, you have something? Kitty cat friends. Kitty cat friends. And no, Livy's pointing. Oh, yes. And, yes, all of your friends. And, and Livy's pointing to myself. Yes, I'm grateful for you too. <laughs> Very grateful. Yes. And up, oh, and your sister back there. It looks like she's washing the dishes. I bet your mom is very grateful for that too. All right, my friends. So, what? are we grateful for whatever it is we're going to think about that and we're going to start a rhythm here we go will you start with me patch 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 we sing Ma every day and you know what <gasps> it is the month of gratitude right even though thanksgiving is not technically a jewish holiday it very much has jewish values and this is what the value is hallel yeah to praise to thank god for all the good stuff in our life but sometimes even the challenging stuff right because even when we have challenges in our life we get creative and imaginative. Your parents are doing an amazing job at that, being creative and imaginative to make some of the challenging things work out and bring some light to the world. So here we go, guys. From wherever you are, I want you to say hallelujah. What? Yeah. Thank God for all of it. And let's see that wave. Here we go. That's it, Libby. You got it. And Sophia and Kayla. And Bobby, I see you guys and all of you out there. So now, wherever you are, I want you to rise up. I want you to stand up. 
for our Barhu prayer. We're gonna sing la 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 la. we're going to do a new song. Sometimes we do this um, on Friday nights for, for those of you who are with us at uh, synagogue on Friday nights. And now you can come every Friday night, even if you're eating dinner, because you can just say, hey, mom, let's go to services at Temple Israel. They're really fun because the cantor gets to sing and dance. And the rabbi says amazing, inspirational words that makes our lives better every day. Um, but this one is fun. And this has some... Um, hand motion. So I'll do the hand motions first and then I'll play the guitar and we can sing it. So this one goes, of course, it's a prayer for creation, right? After we say the Baruch Hu, we're going to say three different special thematic prayers before we say, Shh, mm, ah, right? So this is the prayer for creation. What happens at night? We roll into dark. Dark is when we cover our eyes, right? Roll into light when we see the sun. That's it, guys. Night be, oh wait, night becomes day. Day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light. Beautiful, night becomes day. That's the sunshine. Day turns to night. That's the moon. And then we say, that means God's created day and night. Then go that means also light and darkness was created. So go ray. Oh wait, go lel or me pneho shach. The ho shach me pne or Oh, did you get that? Because I want to start playing guitar. I don't know. So it goes, roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to night. Then bore, good, yum, la, la, la. Go lel or me pne ho shach. Go lel or me pne ho shach. Be ho shach me pne or. Okay, I'm going to leave it to my leaders over here, Kayla and Livy and Sophia, to show everybody how it's done when we sing together. We sing. Yeah. 
beautiful. That's a fun one. We're going to keep doing that one. And of course, you know what's in the Torah? So many amazing things in our Torah, 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 right? We think of all of our stories, but guess what? A lot of our prayers are also in our Torah. And in the Torah, it actually teaches us when and how to pray. And as Jewish people, you know, we're supposed to pray three times a day, but some people, oh, they pray all day long like me. Um, <laughs> but this is our blessing for the study of Torah. And not only do we study and we busy ourselves, we la asok bidivrei Torah asuka. We're busy, busy all day long. We don't even realize that we're studying the Torah, that we're learning Torah, but guess what? Every time you're kind to somebody, you're following the Torah. Anytime you ask a question, you're following the Torah, right? And anytime that we're helping each other, helping heal the world, we're definitely studying and following the words of the Torah. So let's sing our blessing for the study of Torah and the doing of Torah. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher kitshanu bemitzvotam Ditzivanu La'asok bedivrei Torah La'asok bedivrei Torah One more time La'asok bedivrei Torah La'asok bedivrei Torah And there's a big pomegranate on that slide, right? You see on that prayer and they say that inside the pomegranate there's 613 seeds. Did anybody count that at Rosh Hashanah? Has anybody done that fun experiment to count all the seeds? And they say that just like there are 16, 613 commandments in the Torah, that there's 613 seeds in that pomegranate. So friends. Um, can't you notice? Oh yes, I Sophia, you have a question. Not really, I had pomegranate for breakfast. <gasps> You had a pomegranate for breakfast. How amazing. Did you eat all the 613 seeds no, in there? No, I didn't. I no. more in the container. Yes, maybe, maybe. They always oh, in a container. Yeah, that's much easier. And pomegranate juice also they make now. Um, but my friend, that's very healthy. Very healthy for your brain and for your heart. And my friends, today we are going to quiet out the noise like we always do when we say the Shema. But today we're going to learn another melody for our Shema prayer. And then we'll do our special sign language too. But there's another way, there's lots of ways to sing all of these blessings and prayers. And this is not a new melody, it's an old one. Some of your parents might have sung this one at camp and maybe you've sung this one at camp. So first though, let's do what we love to do with our Shema prayer is quiet all the noise and say shh. And bring that love to your heart. Mm -hmm. Now bring it out to the world. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Shh. Mm -hmm. Ah, one more time. Shh. Mm -hmm. Now listen to this melody and then you'll sing it with me. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Try that. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai
Baruch Shem Kabon, Akuto, Leonam Ba'ed, how wonderful and glorious is God's world. We sing, Baruch Shem Kabon, Shem Kabon, Manahu. Try that with me, Baruch Shem Kavod, Shem Kavod Malahuto, Leolam Vae. Sing with our hands, Shema Yisrael Adonai. That's it, Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God. The Lord is one. Now, friends, let's read this together. We never really go into what's called the Ve'ahavta because it is a lot of Hebrew for our Sunday school to feel out. Oh my goodness, it's already up almost 1120 already. I can't believe it. This time has gone so fast this morning. But let's read this together. How do we love God? We love God when we do good deeds each day. Help us, God, to show you our love in every way. How do we love God with all of our hearts? We love God with all our hearts when we love other people. Help us, God, to respect everyone, to speak kind words, to listen well. How do we love God with all our minds? We love God with all our minds when we study Torah. Help us, God, to learn your Torah. And how do we love God with all of our strength? We love God when we share what we have. Helping others is the way we love God with all of our strength. Help us, God, to be the people who give tzedakah. Eternal, our God, we want to show you. We love you through all our deeds. Make our love, make the world a better place. The kind of world you meant it to be when you created us. All right, friends. We sing our redemption prayer, right? We had our prayer for creation, our prayer for the Torah, our revelation, and now Micha Mocha. And I promised we do another melody on this Sunday. So we're going to sing it like this. Listen once and then join me. Micha Mocha. in Hebrew is not on this slide, but it says, Adonai, God, you will reign forever and ever, meaning you will rule ever and ever. But I don't really love that word rule. I like you will protect. God will be with us no matter what. Uh, and, you know, I wanted to bring this one in. Um, my, my, my friend, Nate, I hope he's watching because I um, brought this one in for you, my friend, because you love this one. And I love it because it reminds us of the Torah is like, the Torah is like a tree. How is Torah like a tree? Well, a tree has roots. We know the Torah is very, very old. It has ancient roots and then it has the bark, you know, that is the generations and generations. And then it has the branches and on the branches are leaves and fruits and flowers. And that's you guys, because the tree keeps growing and growing and growing. And the stories of our traditions and our ancestors, they still live with you. And it's our job to keep growing those fruits and flowers and, 
and, and branches, right? So let's sing, we can put this drum down here and we're gonna sing this fun Eitz Chaim song, right? What's that word for peace? Shalom, 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 shalom. In English, it is a tree of life for those who cling fast to it, and all of its supporters are woo happy. It is a tree of life to those who cling fast to it, and all of its supporters are woo happy. One, two, three, four. Shalom, 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 shalom. If we were together, I have a feeling we'd keep going and going and going. Maybe next time. Um, let's skip. Oh, those are good ones. But wait, before we end with our Hatikva and an Ose Shalom, I want to remind everybody of something very special. Of course, Hanukkah is not so far away. After Thanksgiving, my goodness, we're gonna be right at Hanukkah and we're doing something so special for Hanukkah that I want all of you to be in a very special video with this guy. See this guy, it's my friend, Alan Goodis. He's such a great musician and a great person and super fun and a great guitar player. And we're gonna make a video with you guys singing. So after this, if you wanna, hop on to the next workshop and learn how to, you can be in the video. I would love to see you. And then come on Friday, December 11th, we're going to have a very fun virtual Hanukkah celebration at Temple Israel starring you guys. All right. So let's conclude our tefillah today with Hatikva. And up oh, here's my Israeli hat that I'm going to wear. And you can sit or stand if you want as we say our israeli national anthem as we sing together <laughs> Um, and I hope to see a lot of you in a minute at the workshop for the Hanukkah video. And if not, I'll see you on Tuesday and next week. Have a beautiful Sunday. Lehitra Ots. Ose Shalom. Bye.